Oh, there you are. I have this pile of work that needs your attention. Oh, well, I would love to help, but I, I gotta run. My hamster's having a litter of pups. Oh, my lunch isn't agreeing with me. I think somebody's stealing my scooter. Every investment consists of an entry and exit point. But it seems most investment plans focus solely or primarily on the entry point. Which begs the question, should you have an exit plan? We think yes. Having an exit plan in investing means identifying the conditions when you'll eventually move on from an investment. It's a useful way to keep your emotions in check. And exit plans can be used by both long-term investors and short-term traders. Conditions for an exit could be tied to the performance of the asset, meaning when you reach a certain profit or loss threshold, or to the performance of the company. For example, if it reaches a certain size or valuation, they can also be tied to how long you hold your investment or its level of volatility. Ultimately, having an exit plan based on specific conditions helps remove the risk of making decisions based on a gut feeling. You can learn how to use specific exit plans like stop losses and stop limit orders by checking out our library of content which covers the topic and much more. Have more questions? Check out the links to the right and in the description below.